I said, praise the Lord. You see, as long as your spirit is open to receive the word, you become unmanageable. The devil cannot manage you because he cannot manage the word of God. Kabra ya kuingia kwa mahubili, kuna kitu nataka, we claim and we declare and we claim. Amen. And when you receive me, are you ready to declare and to claim? Proverbs chapter 13. Let us go to verse 22. In a same even. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. A good man leaves inheritance to his children's children. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Ya kwaba mutu mwenye haki. Anachia watoto wake na watoto wa watoto wake ulivi. Na utajiri wa mtu mu, muofu, mtu ambaye ni mudharimu, huwa umeweka kwa sababu ya mwenye haki. Ni kwa sababu ya mtu mwenye haki. Oh, ninashukuru bwana, ni kwa sababu alipoangalia watu wake akaona hawakuwa na ulithi wa kuachia watoto wao na watoto wao. Ni kwa sababu chenye walikuwa amefanyia kazi kilikuwa kinafurahiwa na wadharimu katika inchi ya Misri. Biblia inasema wana wa Israeli walikuwa wanafanya kazi sana lakini ilikuwa inawanufaisha wana wa Misri. Lakini neno la Mungu lazima angelifuatilia hakikisha kwamba limesimama ni kwa sababu bingu na inchi hizo zitaondoka wanadamu wataondoka milima itaondoka bahari itaondoka lakini neno la Mungu litadumu milele na sasa lazima Mungu angelifuatilia neno lake kuhakikisha kwamba kama vile ambavyo amesema watu wake wamepata kitu wame wamepata ulithi wa kuachia watoto wao na watoto wa watoto wao ni kweli miaka 430 ni kana kwamba neno hili lilikuwa haliwezi kutimia lakini ninashukuru ni kwa sababu Mungu huwa hana haraka Mungu wako na kitu huwa kinaitwa the appointed time ambia mwenzako msukume mwambie there is always the appointed time because we cut the appointed Pointed time of God came Aliambia Musa waambie hivi Waende kwa wana wa misri Wawambia wawakopeshe Wawambia wawapatie Na neno rinasema Aka wapatia kibari machoni mwawana wa misri Na wana wa misri waka wapatia vitu za thamana mno Na wali wapatia leo Lakini hawajui kesho wataondoka Na neno rinasema hivi Wali toka nchi ire na utajili mwingi kwamba Kafalao alichanganyikiwa Na kauliza nimewaachiria na mnagani Hawadio walikuwa na nifanyia kazi Na zaidi ya hiyo wameenda na utajili ni wangu wacha ni wafuate lakini shetani ni mujinga kwa sababu akiamua kumfuata ambaye Mungu amekusudia kuinua huwa anamfuata kuangamia na walipo wafuata kilichofanyika ni kwamba wote waliangamizwa na wana wa 
Israeli wakawa wako na ulithi wa kuachia watoto na watoto wao tena ikafanyika wakati wa Mordekai na Hamani inasemekana Mordekai alikuwa anakaa kwa malango na unajua kama mimi kwamba ma watchmen are very low paid kwa hivyo Mordekai hakuwa na amekusanya utajiri wa kuachia watoto wake na watoto wa watoto wake lakini Mungu akapitia kwa hamani wacheni kwambie saa zingine ni Mungu huwa anachokoza watu wa kuinukie wakati anataka kukuinua hamani akainuka dhidi ya Mordekai hakuwa anajua kwamba ni kuingia na ingia kwa mpango kwa mtego wa Mungu na neno linasema oh huyu mtu anaitwa hamani akajawa na kiburi mno akasema hata nimefikiria kitu kingine sitashughulika na Mordekai peke yake ni kwa sababu mimi niko juu sana i'm not going to deal with that one guy nita deal na wayahudi wote jina la bwana libarikiwe sana lakini hakuwa anajua ni kuvutwa na vutwa kwa mtego wa Mungu na mchezo ulipoisha neno linasema hivi Mohamani akawa amenyongwa lakini kinacho nifurahisha mno si kunyongwa kwa hamani nyumba ile ya kifahari ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa ya namani ikapatiwa Mordekai ikapatiwa Mordekai ile lanki ya kazi ambayo ilikuwa ni ya Mordekai ni ya hamani ikaishia kwa mikono ya Mordekai Mordekai na Wayahudi ninataka kukwambia ya kwamba Mungu wa wakati wa wana wa Israeli kutoka Misri hajabadilika Mungu wa wakati wa Mordekai na Hamani hajabadilika he is still in the business of transferring the wealth of the wicked from the hands of the wicked to the hands of the saints and I prophesy we are already in that season we are already on that season we are already right in that season kuna watu itasababisha biashara zao zifirisike ndio upate mahari pa kufanyia biashara kuna wadharimu ambao itabidi wapoteze kazi ndio hiyo kazi uipate nao kwani kwani mbodekai alipewa kazi ingine hapana Mungu alilazimisha hamani na wenzake wakufe ndio mbodekai apate ile kazi ninatabili kwamba kuna watu itabidi wavutwe kazi ndio God to create a room for you wengine watafirisika waanze kuuza mali yao ndio wewe uinunue ni kwa sababu gani kuna kitu kinaitwa wealth transfer na sebu ambia mwenzako there is something called wealth transfer wealth transfer huwa inasema hivi utajiri wa wadharimu wamekusanya kwa sababu ya wenye haki ninajua wengi mnaona haiwezekani lakini ni sawa sawa ukweli wa mambo ni kwamba hivyo Mungu anavyosema roho yangu imekubaliana na yeye ya kwamba he is an in a business of transferring the wealth of the wicked into the hands of the righteous yes god is in a business of transferring the wealth of the world into his church and i'm so grateful because he has marked me to be one of the recipients i don't know about you i know some of you you are saying it is not possible ndio hata wakati wa elisha alisema kesho chakula kitakuwa kingi mno na mtu mmoja aliyekuwa na kiberebere akasema hata Mungu akafungua madirisha ya mbinguni jambo hilo haliwezekani akamwambia linawezekana wewe utaona na macho lakini hautakula ni ombi langu ya kwamba as Mungu asikuweke alama ya kusema utaona lakini haitafanyika kwako kama Mungu amesema the best that thing i can do to myself is just to believe even 
when it is not making sense. I have lived with what makes sense for so many years, but it has not been bettering my situation. I'm longing to go beyond the senses, common sense. Lies beyond common sense because common sense always produces common results, and we do not want common results. We are for uncommon results, and if we are for a common common result, God will have to send His word. And this morning, He has sent His word, and His word is, and the and the and the just they shall live an inheritance to their children and their children's children. But as for the wicked, whatever they have been accumulating, it is for the just. It is for the righteous. Are you a just person? Are you a righteous person? I am righteous because Christ has made me one. And so I know I qualify for this wealth transfer. I qualify for this wealth transfer. You qualify for this wealth transfer. You are the only person who can disqualify yourself. But the word of God is said, Ya kwamba utajili wa wathalimu, watu ambao ni wenye thambi, wana ukusanya kwa sababu yetu. Vida itafanyika. I have no idea, but it will happen. Why? Because God has said so, and God is no man to tell a lie. Neither is he son of man to change his mind. He has said it, and he is going to do it. He has said it, and he is going to do it. I said he has said it, and he is going to do it. Wapendwa adui mmoja wetu ni kwamba tumezoea neno la mungu kama watoto wa mtu anaitwa Obedi Idom. Watoto wa Obedi Idom walizaliwa kwa nyumba ambayo walipata saduku la agano. Na wakikua wakalizoea kiwango ya kwamba wakiwa watoto sa zingine wangeli zikalia. Sa zingine wangeli chezea. Lakini Daudi alipo kuja kuchukua hiri saduku la agano. God had already gotten mad with the sons of this man called Obed Edom. Ya kwamba walipo lizidikisha. Walikuwa melizoea dandi ya nyumba yao. Walipo lizidikisha litakotoka inje ya nyumba yao. Neno linasema kwamba Toto moja na itu wa uza Akaenda kalishikiria Haku anajua God had become so mad So angry and so tired With him becoming used To the ark of the covenant Our ark of covenant Today is this word And I am afraid and very concerned Because people have become So used to this word Let me tell you Neno hili ukilizoea Halina manufayo yote It is just becomes another book it just becomes another book I said it just becomes another book elewa hii siyo gazeti siyo laisi ya mesema si maraisi wa dunia wa mesema ni yawe yawe ambaye wana wa israeli aliwalika mbrimani ya kawambia Musa wambia wajitalisha siku tatu na siku ya tatu alipo shuka na randi na mtete muko na kila kitu wana wa israeli wakasema tunaogopa we nenda musikilizane huyo die mungu akambia Musa nyosha tu mkono ambia mweza konyosha tu mkono muambie nyosha tu mkono muambie nyosha tu mkono kuambia nyosha mkono kile mungu walikuwa na muambia ni kuamba kubariana nami kubariana Kumbaliana na ambiambia muenzako kumbaliana na mungu Kumbaliana na mungu Kama amesema ya kwamba mwenye haki Atawachia watoto na watoto wa watoto wake ulivi Kumbaliana na mungu Kama mungu amesema utajiri wa wadharimu wanakusanya kwa sababu ya wewe mwenye haki Kumbaliana na mungu kama Musa Musa alipo kumbaliana na mungu Akanyosha mpono bahari diyo hii Ikaanza kutoroka Kwa sababu mungu walikuwa amesema Ninatangaza hivi Kwa kwa mungu ametufamisha Na ametuambia Na ametuahidi Ya kwamba utajili wa wenye thabi ni wetu Ni lazima uwaze kuwatoroka Kwa 
kama bahali ya shamu lazima uanze kuwatoroka ukirekea kwetu kama bahali ya shamu unaniuliza how pastor i don't know elisha had no idea vile chakula kitajaa ndani ya muji kesho kutwa lakini all he knew the anointing that was upon him had led him to prophesy ya kwamba kesho sema nami kesho sema nami kesho na wakati kulitokezea mmoja ambaye hakukubaliana na unabii Elisha hakubishana alimwambia i don't care whether you agree or you don't agree but this is the truth siku ya kesho neno litatimia na utaliona lakini hautakula na neno lina sema ikawa kama vile ambavyo Elisha alikuwa ametabiri yule mtu akaona akakanyangwa na watu na akakufa macho yake yalishuhudia uaminifu wa Mungu kwa neno lake lakini tubo yake haikuoja uaminifu wa Mungu ni ombi langu ya kwamba utashuhudia na macho uaminifu wa Mungu na utaoja uaminifu wa Mungu it is my prayer that your eyes are going to witness the faithfulness of God and your tongue is going oh to taste the goodness the goodness the goodness the goodness of God kwa kwa Mungu anasema if you be obedient to my word you will eat the good of the Lord if you be obedient to my word and this afternoon we are becoming obedient to the word of God how by believing by a ring with what god has said he has said that we are going to live in inheritance to our children and to our children's children you may tell me but pastor you know in my pocket i have nothing god never refer to what is in your pocket you may tell me maybe even my account it has been dormant for more than years god never mentioned your account because he does not make his promises based on what you have based on what you know based on whom you know he makes his promises based on both his faithfulness and his ability his faithfulness and his ability and the combination of the faithfulness of god and the ability of god always produces miraculous results ninatangaza na kama elisha ya kwamba neno hili litatimia 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 hapa kwatkati yenu na hata wale mnanisikia kwa television ambao wa leo hamna chochote wengine mnanadaiwa ninatangaza mtajipata mnanunua properties za wenye walikuwa naonekana wako mbele wenye walikuwa naonekana mbele you will buy the your properties you will buy the your properties you will buy the your properties not by mighty not by power but by the anointing by the spirit of the living god i refuse to be intimidated by my present condition, condition and situation and circumstances i refuse to be intimidated why because i know whom i believe because i know whom i believe because i know whom i believe yes i don't care pengine uko na madeni mungu mhajarishwi hatishwi na madeni aliona kabra and still he never changed his word akasema muladi tu wewe ni mwenye haki maana yake muladi tu umeukubali wokofu wa mwanangu nilie mtuma ninasema utaachia watoto wako ulidhi na watoto wa watoto wako akajua utauliza swali swali lilikuwa ni hili nitawaachia nini na ni madeni imenisonga nitawaachia nini na kwetu hatuna chochote akateremka kwa huo huo mstari akasema ni kwa kuwa wadharimu wanakusanya kwa sababu yako salimia watu watatu waambie wadharimu wanakusanya kwa sababu yako wadharimu wanakusanya kwa sababu yako wadharimu wanakusanya kwa sababu yako don't be intimidated by what you are witnessing with your eyes oh for we go not by 
by sight but we go by faith we don't go by sight we go by faith for the just shall live by faith I said for the just shall live by faith what is faith faith is believing things that are yet to be downloaded into the physical world and you start handling them as if already they have been downloaded and I declare your blessing is being downloaded your blessing is being downloaded your blessing is being downloaded no devil can mess up no devil can stop this no devil no you are what to on a you are what to a may know our child is an item when you go for what child we can't come up with higher what may you want to put on the new key what may you want to put on the new key what network zao what key jari buona ambiwa no network no network because if it is of god he cannot akuru husu wa chawi kumi walio kuwa wanajulikana sana misri ten of them ten witches ten magicians in egypt god could not allow their combined effort praise the lord he could not allow their combined effort to stop his purpose he could not allow and he has not changed he is the same then today and forevermore he has not changed amesema na ha amesema na hata badrika mungu sio kama wanasiasa ambao wakisema leo kesho wanasema i was misquoted god what he says he starts by that no misquoting ambia mwenzako with god no misquoting wanasiasa atasema hivi leo kesho aitale press conference ya kusema i was misquoted not so with god i said not so with god na neno lile mungu amesema ni hili na habaduki na habadiriki haleluya a good man tafsiri zingine zinasema a just man leaves an inheritance to his children children and that is the will of god that is the will of god na akajua this just man atashangaa nitawaachia watoto wangu nini na vile maisha imenikaa chui imenikaa kinyume haleluya Mungu akaendelea mstari huo huo dia, dia, dia aweze kutulisa roho ya huyu mwenye haki akamwambia ni kwa kuwa utajiri wa wadharimu wanaukusanya kwa sababu yako wanakusanya kwa sababu yako mimi niko tayari nitatununua manyumba ndani ya mji huu na nje ambazo zimejengwa wakati nilikuwa sina dururu praise the lord kwa sababu walikuwa wanafanya kazi hiyo wajenge kwa sababu yangu kuna watu wamenunua maproti huku na watakuja kunipatia ni kwa sababu gani Mungu amesema Mungu akisema mwanadamu ni nani alete mabishano kuna watu ambao jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana nasema jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana kuna watu mimi sijui wewe lakini ninaomba nikuambukize imani hii naomba imani hii kuangukie naomba imani hii kuangukie ninaomba ikuangukie naomba ikuangukie naomba ikuangukie angukiwa na imani hii angukiwa na imani hii ya kwamba usitishwe ukisikia wadharimu wenye dhambi wametajirika sana inafaa uanze kurejoice oh thank you lord Thank you Lord. Waongezee tu wape nguvu za kukusanya kwa sababu mimi nao oh, wakati wa kukusanya si wangu wangu ni wa kutafuta ufalme kwanza. Tafuta ufalme wangu kwanza na haki yake na hizi wanakusanya utakuja kuzichukua. Kuna watu Mungu amepea nguvu za kukusanya na wakati nitazihitaji anasababisha wawe wagonjwa wazunguke dunia yote alafu waambie mkikutana tu na hapo somchina hii shida kuisha haleluya nasema haleluya si usome maandiko usikie naman 
Tulisome maandiko usikie Elisha miaka 20 alikuwa anakibizana na Elisha aliacha biashara zake za ukulima akaacha shughuli zote kukibizana na Elisha hiyo ni kutafuta umufalme wa Mungu na haki yake lakini mara tu alipoascend haikuchukua muda pia inatuambia namani alikuja na puda sita wamebeba utajiri miaka hiyo yote namani alikuwa anakusanya arete raisha arete raisha arete raisha mtu wa Mungu ni nini kinakusumbua nini kinakuweka hofu ati ya kwamba wanapandisa tu manyumba na hauna kitu eh shukulu Mungu kwamba amewapatia nguvu za kufanya hivyo na siri ingine ujua wanafanya hivyo kwa sababu yangu 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 je kama ni manyumba manyumba jegeni tu na Bwana aongezee nguvu za kujenga lakini mnafanya hivyo kwa sababu yangu na ninashukuru najua mtu wako na Mungu huwa ako na kiburi kingine cha neema na mani alipokuja akaenda kwa mfalme mfalme akasema anamchokoza Raisha akatumana akamwambia simwambia kuja kwangu ajue kuna Mungu alipokuja akabiwa na mani yamefika Raisha hakuamuka aliendelea tu na kulala akatuma mwambie aende hii mto chafu iko hapa inaitwaje Mwambie aende na Robi River atubukie huko mara saba na atakuwa sawa na akaendelea na kulala praise the lord praise the lord unajua Mungu hakukusudia ya kwamba tupate utajiri wa jasho ukiona unatoa jasho sana na wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu jua unaishi chini ya, ya raana sio neema sio neema na watu wengi in the kingdom they are already as a cast lot wanafanya kazi 24/7 that is not the will of god Mungu anasema kwa wale napenda huwa nawapea usingizi wanalala kama watoto lakini ya kuwa ni jambo la kutesa roho wa Bwana wakati wengine hata hawalali wanafanya 24/7 ambia mwenzako wewe si wa kabila ya kufanya 24/7 wewe si wa kabila ya kufanya 24/7 wewe si wa kabila ya kufanya 24/7 ni kwa sababu kama utapata utajili kutokana na jasho yako hiyo itakuwa ni laana sio neema na tumeitwa kwa neema neema inaanza kwa kuamini god has said god has said and because he has said He is going to do it because he has said he is going to do it because he has said he is going to do it mtu mwingine mpubavu anaweza kukuuliza how and when that is not my business my business is to believe he has said and he is going to do it ebu za mtu muambie he has said and he is going to do it he has said ambia at least watu wanne waambie he has said and he will do it he has said yes katembea fanya kasafari ambia watu wanne he has said and he will do it he has said and he will do it he has said and he will do it not by mighty no by power but by his spirit he has said and he will do it what has he said this is what he has said a good man a good man live than inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hawatabiria hivi Na robi hii mtapata siprot manyuba ambazo wanaume wamejenga Wakachukua wakachukua maron Haleluya Wakachukua maron wakajenga wakisema ni za watoto wao lakini hawakuwa wanajua Mungu anawasababisha wabebe maroni kwa sababu ya wewe mwenye haki kwa sababu ya wewe mwenye haki kwa sababu ya wewe mwenye haki natangaza wewe unayenisikiliza na umekuwa rafiki wa Mungu mmetembea paka unachana Mungu nasikia fulani alijenga nasikia fulani aliolewa nasikia fulani alipata biashara nasikia fulani alipata kazi kwa nini ulinisahau neno la Mungu ni hili kutangulia sio kufika amewaruhusu tu watangulie lakini wakufika kwanza ni wewe uliza namani na ulize modekai namani alitangulia hakufika 
lakini Mordecai mwenye alikuwa anaonekana kana kwamba if you never get anywhere yeye ndiye aliyefika Mungu ni mwaminifu kwa neno lake nataka kuomba simama tuweze kuomba na kushukuru bwana Huwa kinywa chako mshukuru bwana. Mwambie bwana ni asante kwa mawazo unayo ni waza nayo. Mawazo ya kutisha, mawazo ya kupendeza, mawazo ya ajabu. Hey, rakaba handa ushai. Debro second hinda, rikaba hoza naiza. Na si umesema, na si utatenda. Tumekuamini bwana, tumekuamini kwa kuwa wewe ambaye umesema wewe ni mwaminifu na umetangaza pepe wazuazi ya kwamba ya kwamba o oh, mwenye haki ataacha utajiri na ulili kwa watoto na watoto wa watoto wake lakini mudharimu anakusanya kwa sababu ya mwenye haki sasa tunadai mali ya wenye dhambi ya wadharimu ambayo wamekuwa kikusanya kwa sababu yetu fungua kinywa chako anza kuitisha mali ambayo iko kwa mikono ya wadharimu anza kuitisha mali hiyo anza kuitisha mashamba anza kuitisha manyumba anza kuitisha magari anza kuitisha biashara anza kuitisha kazi ambazo ziko kwa mikono ya wadharimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba nina download utajiri wa wadharimu na download kwa spirit za watu wako kwa roho za watu wako neno lako litimie neno lako litimie neno lako litimie na watu wawa watu wako hawa na wanao ni skriza waweze kumiliki waweze kumiliki yes to access and to possess the wealth of the wicked the wealth of the sins in the name of Jesus Christ nua mikono juu baba ninakushukuru sana na ninakutukuza asante kwa neno lako ni bingu tu na nchi zitapita lakini sio neno lako na neno lako ni kwamba and above that i thank you because you speak to your word with no apology no apology and your word to us is a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just now father i command a wealth transfer in the lives of your people from the sinners and from the wicked i command buildings i command lands i command businesses i command jobs i command that which is in the camp of the wicked the sinners to become transferred in to the camp of the children of right in the name of Jesus no obstruction no ready she can stop this whatever in the name of the lord jesus i command a transfer a transfer a transfer a transfer receive it in the account of your spirit receive it in the account of your spirit in the account of your spirit in the account of your spirit in the name of jesus we thank you and we bless your name daddy in jesus name we pray Amen and amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. Ambao mnategea kwa TV kwa TV, nataka kuomba na wewe. Wacha kutishwa na wale unaona kama wamekuacha sana. Huo ni mpango wa Mungu. Ndio atakapokufikisha, hautasema ni vile ulikuwa swift ama mwenye mbio. Utasema it is the faithfulness of God in action. I want to pray with you. Baba na kushukuru kwa ha huyu mwenye haki ambaye ananisikiliza na amekuwa akiangalia anaona mambo haimuendei inaendea wenye dhambi na kushukuru kwa sababu neno lako amelisikia na sasa i command wealth transfer from the account of the wicked the sinners into your account your spiritual account i load your account with the blessing of god that make the rich and add the no sorrow in the name of jesus i declare you blessed in jesus name Amen and amen. Unanisikiliza kwa TV. Na haujaokoka. Ambao hawajaokoka ndio Mungu anasema wicked, sinners. Na kama uko na mali, it is high time. Uvuke ngambo hii ingine. Ni kwa sababu soon and very soon kuna transfer. Vuka pande hii ingine, pokea Yesu, afanyike Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako. Nataka kuomba na wewe. Sema Bwana Yesu. Ingia ndani ya moyo wangu. Uwe Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa. Nidumishe, unimalishe na unijaze na roho wako mtakatifu. Sema amen. Baba ninakushukuru
mzuri unaokoa na kudumisha mudumishe muimarishe msimamishe na ufanye jitu la imani asante kwa hayo yote in jesus name i pray amen amen and amen nataka kuomba kwa wale ambao wamekuwa wakisimama na program zetu nataka kuhitishia baraka za bwana Jehova Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo ulituambia kama tunataka kuguza pesa za ufalme tujihusishe na miradi ya kiufalme na kushukuru kwa sababu ya partners hawa wamekuwa kijihusisha na shughuli za kiufalme and so i release the blessing over their lives let their boundaries become enlarged and extended in the name of the Lord i command the blessing of God into your life and i release the protection of God over your life in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father in Jesus name i pray amen and amen and amen ngeta kitu pamoja nasi sisi tuko Kayore junction tunakukaribisha mahali pale kanisa inaitwa abide in Christ church and ministry ukikuja hakuna shaka kubarikiwa na kuinuliwa na kuwakishia utabarikiwa may god bless you and do you good shalom peace amen wapigeni makofi